Yo, what's going on guys, it's Vidic here and welcome back to Solak. For today's video, I'm bringing you guys an ultimate starter guide with a bunch of different tips, tricks, and secrets I wish I knew when I started because it will save you hours of time. Now you guys know I like to make my guide straight to the point, not gonna waste any of your time. We're also giving away a $10 bond in the comments. Like, subscribe to my channel, put your end game name down below to enter. All right, first thing you wanna do, cone cone ref. Type in Vidic. You're going to get five mil coins and two vote scrolls. Really, really nice. And then you're also going to want to go ahead and immediately vote as well. Then you're going to do coin coin claim vote and you'll get three more vote scrolls. Now, don't do anything with these yet. Do not claim them. Trust me. Instead, the very first step of our progression is going to be to sell these vote scrolls. So go to the playroom shops. Now, just get an idea of the price. Search up vote scrolls. I expect these to probably get bought out. So I'm just going to sell mine right below 1700. So you're 16999. <laughs> Now, while these sell with the 6k in your inventory, you're going to want to get a weapon upgrade. What I like to do here is just kind of type in bow. Now, ignore the starter ones. Sorrow bow 2500 for plus 800. And then you can also look up staff. Looks like the plus 800 here is selling for 4k. So this is a steal. We're going to go ahead and buy that. And you might have to click on your tokens to convert them. But there we go. Compared to our starter weapon, this is literally eight times better. Also, make sure to always pay attention to both the vote and the global boss. Kill these whenever they spawn. It's a group effort. All you got to do is a little bit of damage and you'll get some rewards. And now the very first thing you're going to want to do is head to colon colon starter. And you're basically going to want to complete the first two challenges here while picking up all of the bones. It's super quick. Just kill 10 Sonics and then kill 10 Patrick. So you should have 30 bones and then use all of them to end up around 60. And we're going to return here later. All right, so it is time to start Slayer as soon as possible because there are a lot of OP upgrades we're going to be getting from this. Now, there is a certain order that I highly recommend you buy these items in. The very first thing you want to buy is an Infinite Overload Tier 1 Potion for 125 Slayer tickets. Then you're going to want to go over here and buy the Level 1 Collector's Necklace for 500 tickets. And then before we go ahead and buy everything else, you have to get this Red Fenrir Pet for 2k. Not only does it give you a 20% damage boost on task, but it gives you two times Slayer tickets. We're going to be earning almost 8,000 Slayer tickets in total over time, so it's really important to get this thing quick. So we're going to go ahead and get task on Vanica. Very easy. At level 70, we can move up to Duradol. At level 80, we can go to Hard Slayer. And then at 90, we can do Boss Slayer. So we just go over here, find the Tycoon Birds, teleport over. Now, this is why we got Protection Prayers. Almost all the Slayer monsters are going to destroy you if you don't have Protects. Now, the progression on the server is actually really nice, and you're going to get a lot of armor upgrades throughout doing Slayer at pretty nice drop rates, like 1 out of 50, 1 out of 75. Ooh, and look at that. We got our first Slayer casket. These are just going to give us Slayer tickets. They're going to give us antique lamps, some other decent stuff like cash. And these antique lamps are super important. You want to get to 70 Slayer as soon as possible, because once you get there, you'll be able to kill higher level Slayer monsters, and they're going to drop you some really nice armor. So use all your antique lamps on Slayer whenever you get them. It gives you the same amount of XP no matter your level, so you don't got to worry about that. There we go. Task finished. Extra Slayer casket. There we go. Use our lamps on Slayer once again. And we're already almost at level 70. Now, you're probably not going to do this all in a row. You're going to acquire these items over time. But the order you want to buy them in, you want to skip all the other Slayer helmets. And after the Fenrir pet, go ahead and buy yourself a Sea Urchin Slayer helm. Really nice stats on this. It also gives you a drop rate boost. After that, buy the Tier 4 Aura, which gives a 15% drop rate and 15% double drop rate. Then go ahead and buy the upgraded collector's necklace. And last but not least, come over here to Curadel and buy each of the tier two infinite potions. Also, immediately when you get your first collector's necklace, go back to Colon Colon Starter. Right click on the portal. Go back. Go back until we get to Sonics. Reason being, these guys have really low HP. At this point, you should easily be able to one hit them. And with our collector's necklace, we can get a fuck ton of dragon bones very, very easily and max out our prayer. All right, only took a few minutes to get 88 dragon bones and see how far this gets us. All right, that's 92 for soul split, but we should, let's just go ahead and get 95 for turmoil as well. Hey, there we go. All right, 95 prayer. We got turmoil and soul split, and now I'm gonna leave this place. I left off on Squirtles. I think this is a better place to leave off before you have higher DPS. After this is Mewtwo. Uh, it'll give you five Slayer caskets. It'll also give you an aura. So if you need some extra Slayer tickets, it's a good place to come back to. Come over here and switch over to curses. Very important. So we have soul split. All right. So now it is time for some money making and mini games. The mini games here on Solak are some of the best money making methods in the entire game. And they give you some really, really nice upgrades. Now, before we go do that, it is important to have a second style. Now, as you can see, my vote scrolls have not sold yet, so I can't get any super OP stuff. 
But it looks like I can afford this Gano Perp staff, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and buy that for our 4K, and now we got two styles, easy peasy. It also can't hurt if you have some extra money to just go in here and search body, sort the price by the lowest, and then just try to find a cheap, decent upgrade. All right, this is our best bang for our buck. We're gonna buy that. Search item legs, and we should be good for now. All right, the first mini game we're gonna be checking out, and probably one of the most consistent money makers in the game is Halls of Valor. From here, you can get all of the new custom prayer scrolls, and you can get some of the best rings in the game. It's very simple as well. You just gotta kill a few bosses. As you can see, this guy protects from range. These infinite overload potions are so OP too. Look, it literally maxes out my stats, so I'm hitting him with 150 magic right now, even though I started at level one. So there we go, one down. Number two over here, also protecting from ranged. You guys can also see why Soul Split is so important. They attack with multiple styles in most of these minigames. So you're basically just not going to survive without it. Number two down. We kill Screeg over here. Crystal Orc, four out of four. And then we move into the final room and fight the boss. Well, he's not much of a boss. He's kind of a small little dude. And we are done, just like that. You'll get teleported out. You can restore yourself on this fountain. And you'll get a Hall of Valor key. That's used to open up the Hall of Valor chest where you can get the rewards, but especially at a low level like this, you gotta sell these keys. So as you can see, some people have hoarded a bunch of them. They're selling for $23,500. I want to get the money quick because I can get a really nice weapon upgrade for $20K. So I'm just going to put it in for $20K. It'll sell pretty quick and then I can go back and do some more. But just for the video, might as well open it up for you guys. Ah, unlucky. You either get the rare items or you just get a little bit of money. Another decent money-making minigame, not as good as Halls of Valor, but still decent, is Treasure Hunter. Now basically there are four bosses here, one in each direction. You kill them all for a one out of three chance at a key. Once you get all four keys, you can open up the treasure chest. So not bad as you can see, the bosses are definitely tankier than Halls of Valor. So you'll get keys a little bit slower, you'll make money a little slower, but it's still definitely a viable option. I'm not sure what's going on with these treasure keys for only a thousand, but the keys usually sell for about 2k each. Next up is Void of Darkness. This is basically like Barrows for the server. You go over here, you kill three different bosses from their crypts. A one, a two, a three. Once you've killed all three, you come over to the chest, you loot, and you hope for the best. Ah, not lucky this time. You can get some really nice pieces of gear from here and some extremely strong weapons. As you can see, 2,500 bonuses. So I definitely recommend coming back here when you're stronger and have some OP weapons. Just go to Halls of Valor and grind keys, make a bunch of money, and try to get a weapon like the Nymora crossbow before going back. Vault of War is an important minigame that you're definitely going to want to do at some point because it will give you glove upgrades, kind of like the Warrior's Guild for defenders. So all you gotta do is kill these Lava Hounds to get Vault tokens. Use these tokens to enter the portal and then you go ahead and kill these mutated hounds. I do recommend saving up a decent amount of tokens before you come in here though. And that's it, you'll continuously get glove drops in order up until you get the best gloves in the entire game. So this is Keepers of Light. It's basically like the pest control mini game of the server to get one of the best hybrid setups in the game. Now these are actually really useful because higher end gears only give you bonuses in one style. So to avoid having to switch five pieces of armor every time you go into another style, it's pretty straightforward. You go in there, you kill a few bosses, you earn some points. So other than those mini games, continue doing Slayer to get those big boy upgrades. Like I showed you, Halls of Valor is probably the best way to get money right off the bat to get a nice weapon upgrade. And besides that, once you start getting a really nice setup going, you want to start taking on some bosses. The most profitable bosses are the ones that drop weapons, and the Light and Dark Supreme are especially nice. Dark Supreme drops Nymora armor, the Nymora crossbow, which is extremely powerful, and the range attachment, which goes for 1.4 mil. He's not an easy boss though, that's for sure. Here, let me... Let me show you what I mean here. Besides the fact that he uh, can one hit you very commonly, he likes to just fucking drown the entire area with, <laughs> with lightning bolts and he smites you. So you're going to be constantly getting your soul split back on like this so you do not die. It's best thing a boss you want to try out when you get better gear, but it can be extremely profitable. And that is going to do it for our starter guide here on Solak. If you follow the tips in this video, you're going to be getting as powerful as possible, as efficiently and quickly as possible especially focusing on money making, selling your vote scrolls, selling halls of valor keys and getting weapon upgrades. That's going to get you strong the fastest. But anyways, guys, don't forget to enter the giveaway. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like it if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you want more videos and have a nice day.